Jack, a winning return to the side after six weeks out. You must be buzzing with that. Yeah, happy to get a win on my return. Uh, three points, but you know, credit to all the boys as well. We, we fought well. Uh, we went 1-0 down, but we kept our heads up and we chased the game. And you know, second half we came out, we dominated uh, the second half. Uh, put them under pressure and you know it reflected in the result. And points it felt like quite a not really scrappy but quite a battle in the, the centre and you know the, the stages of the game where we were jostling for possession and stuff. Do you feel like what you know we managed to just take control when it was really important? Yeah Fleetwood are uh, that type of side we knew what we was coming up against uh, before the game. We knew it was going to be um, a tough game, a battle um, so yeah, we was ready for it. We knew what we knew what to expect, um, and I felt that we dealt with you know we dealt with them well, and we battled them as well, and we came out on top today. You had a, a great chance to put us ahead quite early on in the game, yeah. but it just just glanced off you, I think, didn't it? Yeah, the ball was a bit wet, skimmed off my forehead. <laughs> you know, I think if it was a dry day, I would have scored that, but no, I should have scored. I should have scored. Uh, should have got a better connection, but um, you know, it's, it is what it is. We won the game, so it doesn't matter now. And after six weeks out, you know, how did it feel to be back out there and back in the action? Uh, it was amazing. Um, you know, when I heard that I was starting the game, I was buzzing. Um, I couldn't wait to just get out back at SJP. You know, I love playing here. The fans are, the fans are good with me as well. Um, and it's just enjoyable, you know, playing for this club. And yeah, I just want to do my best for this club. <laughs> Something you don't normally hear is, you know, your name sung in the warm up as well. So mm. that must have been nice. Yeah, it's nice. It obviously always gives you a boost, you know, when the big banks singing your name before the game. You know they're on your side, you know they're backing you. Um, so going into the game, I had a lot of confidence, you know. Uh, no nerves, um, just wanted to go out there and play my best. Um, and you came off around the 80th minute, was that just a precaution? Yeah, I think it was just precaution. Um, obviously, I'm coming back from a six-week injury uh, from a, a fracture on my foot. So I want to take, like, take my time, I don't want to go, go all out. Um, obviously, I'm not 90 minutes fit yet, so it got to like that. Uh, the 78th minute and I just you know I couldn't run anymore I felt like I couldn't move and that's about it but in terms of the foot the foot feels fine and everything's fine. And how was the rehab and recovery from injury for you? I mean I think was had you played through the pain for a little while as well before realising yeah, yeah. you actually had a fracture? Yeah I played through it a bit because uh, we didn't know what it was um, and yeah it ended up we ended up seeing that it was a, a fracture in my foot but you know the rehab was you know, it's quite, it's, it's quite hard when you're injured because you just want to be playing, you want to be training. You know, you're coming into the training ground and you're seeing the boys going out and you're just in the gym. So it's hard mentally, but it's part and parcel of the game. You, you're back, Tim's back from injury. Pierce will be back next week after his suspension. You know, Josh Key back from his illness. The squad's starting to look strong again, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting our full squad back. Um, obviously, it's been tough. We've lost a, a couple of players um, and we've got big games coming up, you know, Derby on Tuesday and then the big one Plymouth for Saturday so it's important that we've got all, all our players there involved. And you saw, I think you saw the goal go in from the, the um, dugouts there as well, what was that moment like? Uh, it was good, you know, we was all um, happy that the goal went in, you know, it's been very hard, you know, ever since Matty's gone, it's been a bit disjointed at the club, uh, not knowing what's next, not knowing who's the next manager. Um, so as players, it's quite tough, you know, to go through that. Um, a lot of us haven't gone through that, you know, the young ones like me, Al, mm. Josh Key, Harry Kite. Um, but today was just good to get that, the three points and, you know, it's good to take us into the week where we've got two big games. Special moment for Sam on his birthday as well, getting yeah. the winner in the, you know, third minute of extra time. Yeah, Sam's a big player for us, you know, he scores goals for us. Um, but he does more than that, he sprints, you know, uh, presses the, the, the centre-halves. And, you know, yeah, he's a, he's a huge player for us. So when he's playing well and he's scoring, it's, it's good for us. You know, it gives us a boost as well. Um, so all credit to Sam, he's an important player for us. And Jay as well getting the first, you know, someone who you know from his time in the academy yeah. as well, someone you know quite well, a special moment for him here. Yeah, Stano as well. I know how much this club means to him and his family. Um, you know, obviously his dad and, and all of that stuff. It's quite sad as well. Um, but Stano is another big player for us. Um, someone who's good in our attack, you know, him, Jeb and Nombe, they're big for us um, and today they done well and we ended up winning the game, you know, Stano scored and Nombe scored so it's a perfect day. You mentioned it already but a big, you know, eight, nine days coming up, trip to Derby on Tuesday night mm. to a, a big exciting stadium, you know, mm. that's going to be pretty pretty buzzing, isn't it? And then mm. that, that Monday night football will get down at Argyle as well. Yeah, um, you know, these, these are the games you want to be involved in, you know, where you want to challenge yourself. Um, 
and we're, we, we just need to go there and be confident and you know try our hardest and try and win win the game you know we're, we're capable of winning them we just need to you know go out there and believe in ourselves and have that confidence and that late late goal will give you all that confidence going into tuesday yeah of course um like i said whenever you win it lifts up the spirits um you know now that like, everyone's happy you know we're all like normal again whereas when you're losing it's quite hard to you know shake it off and forget about it it stays in your mind um, so after the three points today, I think the squad's in a good place now and we're all happy and you know, buzzing to go on Tuesday and Monday. And just finally, it looks like the managerial situation will be resolved in the next you know, 24, 48 hours. So I guess that again gives you something to look forward to and you know, a, new, a new sort of <coughs> era for the club and it just means that we can really kick on for the rest of the season. Yeah, new manager. Um, new manager comes in, everyone wants to impress him. Everyone wants to play well, you know, to, to get into his side. Um, so obviously Matty was here for four years, was it? And, you know, he's gone now, so now it's time for the club to change and, you know, bring in someone new and it's exciting times and to it's exciting times to come.